After six bail applications, Kirk Ashton is now free and will be until his trial. The former Hilton Elementary principal is facing multiple sexual abuse charges from 26 alleged student victims. Christian Garzone is live now at the courthouse with more on this. Christian, what can you tell us? Well, Adam Katrina, just before 4 o'clock here, Kirk Ashton walked out of the Monroe County Jail with a probation officer. They both stayed silent and walked down Plymouth Avenue into that parking lot over there behind me. Now, bail has been lowered on six different occasions for Ashton. It was as high as $500,000, but that was brought down to $100,000. Judge Bailey Turner lowered that after Ashton's defense team argued multiple times that he could not afford to make bail because he only had about about $20,000 in his account. Other funds, they said, tied up or not accessible to him. Somehow, Ashton was able to get that money together for this bail, uh, again, $100,000. Attorney Paul Harding and his legal team are representing some of the alleged victims of Ashton. He says regardless of the circumstances, he knows many will not like this situation, but all need to remember Ashton is innocent until proven guilty. The judges, he says the judge had to ask two questions in this case. Will Ashton appear at future court hearings, and is he a threat to the community? The judge decided, he says, bail was appropriate in this case. We sort of let them know, anticipated that this would in fact happen. You know, is it a, was it a major surprise? No. Uh, I guess, you know, when it happens, it just happens. You're never quite ready for it emotionally. Uh, but... Uh, we did tell them that at some point he was going to be uh, out. He was going to be somewhere in the community. I think there's going to be restrictions. So we don't know when there's going to be a trial. We know that there is this is a complex case in large part because the number of alleged victims, right? Because you've got so many different people and you've got so many different concerns that these cases, by definition, always take a little bit longer. And the last time we were in court with Ashton, he had to agree to a number of conditions, if set go, including electronic monitoring and staying away from Northwood Elementary School. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Katrina, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. The DA's office says Greece Police and the Monroe County Sheriff's Office are aware of Ashton's release and will be monitoring the situation closely.